Hello, this is Chris from Curbside Laundries, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how our barcode scanners interact with our software. I'll be showing you how to set it up, as well as some of the cool things that we can scan with it. The barcode scanner from Cypher Lab comes in two pieces. You have the scanner itself, as well as an adjustable stand. This can be rotated as well and can be mounted into any hardware like a desk or countertop if you'd wish using these two mounting screws on the sides. To get started, we're very simply going to plug in the barcode scanner via USB into any available slot on your POS system. There's one right here in front of the razor that we can use. Uh, when you do plug it in, it will make a long beep just like so. So at this point, the barcode scanner will work. You'll notice if you pull this trigger, the light will come on and you can see this little red triangle. It will scan items just as you would expect it to. Makes a nice little beeping noise. But let's go ahead and integrate some of these items into the software. Before we begin scanning any items, we need to set up the barcode scanner first. To do so, we're gonna go to maintenance and then register. And at the bottom of the list, you'll find barcode scanner setup. You can read the directions on the screen, but to follow along, you're just going to scan the codes provided to you. First one. If the scan is positive, it'll sound like that. Next, we're going to test the barcode scanner. Here, we will simply scan each barcode as they appear. The first one. Second one. And the third one. Once all three have been scanned successfully, it will tell you in a green banner at the bottom that you have successfully set up the barcode scanner. Now, we can add items to the register using the barcode scanner. We'll go to Maintenance, Register, Inventory Items. We're gonna push New Inventory. And you'll notice now the new field in the top left telling you to scan the new barcode label. We can take any item, in this case, some soil stain remover, and scan it, and the barcode number will automatically fill in for you. We'll just fill in the rest of the information, add it to a category, and click Save. If you need to change a barcode item, for instance, if you scanned the wrong item, simply edit the item you'd like to have the barcode for and scan the new barcode for it. The barcode number will update automatically, and you'll just save it at the bottom right of the screen. Barcode scanning will also work with service items or miscellaneous items that you would like to add. Now let's see this in action. If somebody would like to purchase, let's say, some Tide, all we'd have to do is to open the register and scan it. It'll be automatically added to our cart on the right side of the screen. You can scan it multiple times for multiple items of the same type or scan different items, of course. If you ever want to remove an item from the cart, simply tap on the item name and it'll remove it for you. While the barcode scanner is in its adjustable stand, it will function as a passive scanner, so any item that you pass underneath it will be scanned. Of course, you can scan multiple items. Just make sure the barcode is nice and legible. And if you want to add more of the same item, you can just scan it more than once. Easy. And that's how you would set up your barcode scanner for use in our software. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to support. We'll be more than happy to help you. As always, this has been Chris from Curbside, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.